today I'm going to be taking most of this wall down and strengthening the roof at the same time. Now, that beam is resting on there and it's also resting on that my trust rafter which means that that hole there can come out it's doing nothing so I can hit this wall down safely now you've got the trust rafter here this goes up to the main beam which is telling me that this this here is just a bit of a precaution but that is taking a lot of weight so this should this uh, truss rafter A-frame should be. Now, when they've done the new roof, they've placed this bit in and that up there just to support that, which I don't want that left there because I want to take this wall down. So, for the time being, I'm going to let that one fall onto here, put a wedge in, so this wall can come down and it's all supported. And this actually looks original. What I'm going to do, send another one, bolt it to the side of this one, across and into the wall, and kind of like make another Press rafter A frame coming across this long beam there. I'm going to try to take out and move up square and then put supports like this into this up onto that, if that makes sense. And then this wall can come back out. That one there, I think I've only been putting as a precaution because it sat on the A-frame there, so there's no problem sending this one out. So that's what I'm going to have a go at today. So wish me luck. Let's hope the roof don't fall down.
put my steelies on. Nearly forgot them. Stop me from having any breaking toes. They would get fixings into the, the clay bricks in the hollow. I suppose that's one way of doing that. Okay. Well, let's go if that's what it is.
uh, this wall guys it's going to come down but very slowly the electrics out there are unbelievable these are i'm assuming still live let me see how they come up through out here is more single cable cable and it goes through conduit like this so we've got some wire on the outside that one's going to be pretty straightforward that's what's powering the lights and that was a socket so they must be powering a socket and a light switch of the same thickness cable i don't think that's legal out there now mind this is an old house so that's going to come down pretty straightforward off of that but we've got to work out this um i can't see how the electrics out of this is coming into here and into that so it's got to be in the wall behind somewhere possibly there seems to be a lot of filler so we're just going to go really quiet and then screw this back to the wall after wish me luck First bit of electrics out, and my labour of just joined me. I'm a sweep up
last wall standing. We've knocked all the walls down today. So that was the main one going all the way across there. Then we had a doorway in the middle. So we smashed down the one going into the dining room there. The kitchen and the one separate in the kitchen and dining room. So, of course, securing one of the beams on top a second, making sure that it's all good. And then, there we go. Why not one plan living kitchen diner? We've got all the walls down. Um, I've put this piece of timber in, just as a support, just in case, but I think these A-frames are doing the job. In there. This wall here will be coming down. Um, and as like I said, it's all going to be open plan. Log burner in there. New front door. New back door. New floors right the way through. Um, although that's concrete, that's fine. We don't know whether to do wood on the rest or concrete block and beam. I think price will be the major factor. Um, I'd love to see wood in here, but it is crazy money out there.